Hi, welcome to another quick tutorial in Cinema 4D. Uh, today we're talking about one of the uh, cooler deformers, the spline wrap deformer, which you can find under the bend tool here, and voila, the spline wrap. So I just want to show you quickly how it works. Um, right now I have this set up to basically take my circle and wrap it with my cube, um, and you can do a lot of animation tricks with this. So starting from scratch, we basically are going to start with a cube. And we are going to go in and make sure the cube is a parent of the spline wrap tool. And then we bring in our spline, which could be anything. Um, in this case, we're going to use the circle. And all we do is go to spline wrap and drag it in. Now you'll notice right away we're not getting the look we want. And that's just because we have to create many more segments here to our cube. So it's going to look kind of blocky, kind of like a nut, um, until you get up into like the 30 range, and then it's going to start to smooth out. Um, so depending on the intended look, that's sort of uh, where, you, where you can take it. Um, and then we can adjust all sorts of things like uh, the size over its life, um, or we can keep that constant. We can adjust uh, the rotation. Um, can have banking on. So if you were trying to make like, you know, some sort of other kind of interesting object. You can bank it, you can make rails. Let's say you were making like a bike trail or like a skateboard trail, you wanted to follow your spline. Um, that's where you would find all that stuff. And then you can even animate this. So um, right now, all it is is it's just my uh, spline wrapped in a cube. But let's say I want to go from here to there. Maybe you want to animate your logo now you can animate that as it wraps on. Well, obviously, you're still going to notice at the very beginning here that the uh, that, that little plane is still going to be visible. So if I bring in a light object and I give it a shadow and I render, you're going to see that plane. Simple fix for that is just go in here and add a display tag. And we're going to use the visibility here we're going to go in and we're going to put it at zero and we're going to hit alt on our keyboard bam and we'll go to like two frames in put this up to 100 same thing now if i go to my first frame render nothing's there but i can play my animation and make sure that this next keyframe is fully at 100 Bam, there it is. At any point, you can test this by rendering it. That looks a little crazy because my light is directly above this object. But So there it is. So you can get some kind of cool things done here just by using this one deformer and bringing in any kind of spline that you want. Um, so this was just a canned circle spline, but let's say if we went into our top view here, and for a second we got rid of this, and we use the spline tool, we can draw anything we want. Escape here. And now I can take my spline I just created, rotate that up, come into the spline wrap and boom drop it in now it's the same the same deal working with the spline I just created so this could be any logo that you've brought in a photo of and you've um, run over it with the spline tool you could do the same thing with spline wrap so anyway that's a really quick tutorial on how to use spline wrap if you have any questions let me know thanks